Please welcome to the stage Grocery Shop Global President Sophie Vavro and Grocery Shop Senior Vice President of Content Christina Gustafson. Good morning, everyone, and on behalf of our entire team, a very warm welcome to Grocery Shop 2023. And what a show we have lined up for you across the next three days. Yeah, that's exactly right, Sophie. And welcome again, everyone. We are incredibly excited to be able to kick off this year's unusually fresh retail event by diving straight into our incredible day one keynotes. I'll tell you a little bit more about what you can expect from this year's content in a couple of minutes, but before we get into that, Sophie, I wanted to say a quick welcome to you for joining us on the Grocery Shop keynote stage for the very first time. Thank you very much, Christina. Well, this time last year, it was just my second week leading Grocery Shop and our sister events at Shop Talk, having been given the amazing opportunity to take the helm of these two incredible brands. I sat in the audience where you are last year and was blown away by the show, so I am just thrilled to be here on the stage with Christina this morning. But while the welcome that I received from the team and from the retail community last year was really warm, I was told by some that my timing was off, that I had missed the boat, that I had joined after the most exciting digital transformation of retail had all already been completed. But to tell you the truth, I wasn't that worried. From the introduction of self-service shopping in the 60s to the first online supermarkets of the 90s and the next generation of transformative tech that you're going to be hearing about over the next three days, the retail industry has always been in a state of regeneration and innovation. And the past year has proved that out. What we've seen over the last 12 months is that we are never far away from the next event or the next innovation that can totally disrupt our market. You know, it was just one month after Grocery Shop last year that Kroger and Albertsons announced their agreement to merge and become America's largest supermarket retailer. And I couldn't be more thrilled that following us onto this stage this morning for our opening keynote is Kroger Chairman and CEO Rodney McMullen. And then just another month after that announcement, OpenAI launched ChatGPT to the public and generative AI burst into the public consciousness. Rather than the end of innovation, the past year has felt like the opposite, a reminder to all of us of the speed at which our industry can change and the excitement that comes from being at the intersection of fast-moving retail and technology. It's also reminded us at Grocery Shop of our ongoing commitment to creating the conversations and the connections that advance our industry. We are thrilled that all of you have chosen to invest your time to be part of this amazing community of innovators and change makers. Well, Christina, you and team content have been busy stocking the shelves with conversations <laughs> to fuel all of our innovators and change makers. I'm really sorry. You will have learned by now that we love a pun at Grocery Shop. Um, can you talk us through a little bit about what some of those conversations are going to look like? Yes, of course. I'd be happy to. And as you just mentioned, it is truly incredible just how much has changed over the past 12 months. Feels like just yesterday we were all sitting in this room together. But we've planned three jam-packed days full of content that are going to explore how the latest technology and offerings are poised to transform our industry going forward. Given the sustained buzz around how generative AI is going to transform not only grocery and CPG, but the world at large, you're probably not surprised to hear that artificial intelligence is going to be front and center during many of the conversations taking place on our stages. But we're going to be covering it the grocery shop way. We've programmed a range of sessions to help you understand the long-term opportunity for this technology, as well as the steps that you need to take today in order to get your organizations ready. We'll unpick the opportunity from the hyperbole by featuring the founders and CEOs of the innovative startups who are building these technologies, all the way to C-level executives from companies like Nestle, Church and Dwight, Instacart, and Hungry Root, who are at the cutting edge of exploring its possibilities. As the term omnichannel becomes a little bit more passe in our industry, we're also going to help you unlock what unified commerce in grocery can mean. Later today, you're going to have the opportunity to hear from executives at companies like Mars Wrigley, Bayer, Ajo Del Hayes, and Giant Eagle, who are going to talk about how they're working cross-functionally in order to create a unified shopping experience across channels. 
We'll also spend a good chunk of time investigating how relationships are changing in our industry, exploring themes like how brands and retailers are leveraging their data and technology prowess in order to forge new B2B partnerships, oftentimes becoming solution providers in their own right. Now, it's impossible to have that conversation without advancing the discussion around me retail media networks. And we're going to be hearing insights from industry heavyweights on that topic, uh, Coca-Cola and Mondelez on the brand side, and then Sam's Club and Dollar General, among, I'm sure, many others uh, on the retail side. And because innovation simply cannot be unlocked without simultaneously transforming your organization, we're also thrilled to be introducing a series of interactive conversations that are going to dive into the culture and leadership strategies required in order to unlock all these opportunities. Now, despite all this excitement, we are also cognizant that the economic backdrop and consumer environment that we are operating in is a little bit uncertain and, quite frankly, at times, a little bit confusing. So in addition to hearing from industry practitioners, we're also going to be featuring insights from renowned analysts and investors to help you make sense of what lies ahead. When all is said and done, you are going to have had the opportunity to hear from 175 speakers across five content stages. They'll be speaking on over 50 sessions for what amounts to 35 hours of content. It's quite a lot. Uh, but if you ask me, it's actually going beyond the numbers and looking at the quality of our speakers. That's the real grocery shop difference. First, grocery shop is the industry's most senior speaker lineup. Over 50% of the speakers you're going to be hearing from over the next couple of days are founders, CEOs, and other C-level. And every single last one of them is at least a VP level. Second, every single speaker has been handpicked by the grocery shop content team for the unique insights that they have to share on their specific topic. That means you're not going to be hearing from a single speaker who's paid to be on our stages. And finally, as I hope a lot of you who have been to Grocery Shop over the years can attest, while those high quality standards remain consistent from year to year, our speaker lineup is also reflective of that pace of change that Sophie was talking about earlier. About 75% of this year's speakers are brand new to the Grocery Shop stage, which will allow you to hear fresh new perspectives on the industry's most important topics. It's all part of our commitment to you to make sure that Grocery Shop delivers you the utmost value year after year. That's right, Christina. All of you in the audience spend so much of your time thinking about how you can deliver value and efficiency to your customers or your customers' customers. So our commitment to you is that we will do exactly the same for you. Our goal is to bring together all of your current and future partners, suppliers, collaborators, and sources of inspiration in one place so that these three days become the most valuable and the most efficient of your year. In order for us to deliver that efficiency for you, I'm delighted to launch, announce the launch of two huge new initiatives at Grocery Shop this year. The first is Meet Up at Grocery Shop, the largest meetings program in existence for the grocery and CPG ecosystem. Earlier this year, we opened up our exclusive meeting platform to every single attendee at our shop talk shows, giving every opportunity to invite any other attendee to a pre-scheduled meeting opted into by both parties. We have facilitated an unbelievable 70,000 of these double opt-in meetings already this year between retailers, consumer-facing brands, uh, innovative tech providers, startups, investors, media, industry analysts, and all the other parts of our community. And another 25,000 meetings are on the way this week at Grocery Shop. Feedback so far has been incredible, and the energy that thousands of simultaneous meetings taking place creates is something that we are thrilled to be bringing to Grocery Shop today. I cannot emphasize enough how groundbreaking this meetings program is going to be for the grocery and CPG industry, and how many world-changing partnerships and connections it's going to spark. But we also recognize that part of the value coming together face to face like we are today is that as well as the tens of thousands of pre-scheduled connections that we facilitate for you through Meetup, there are a multitude of other less formal ways for you to strengthen your network at Grocery Shop. And that's why as well as launching Meetup at Grocery Shop this year, we have also pioneered our brand new networking and social activities program. Over the past few weeks, more than half of you in the audience have used this new function of the same grocery shop platform that you use to book your meetings and your table talks to see, select, and schedule all of your networking and social activities taking place here at Grocery Shop. 
Everyone who is hosting After Hours events this week, including our fantastic sponsors, has been able to use this platform to curate just the right audience for these events easily and efficiently. And our platform allowed them to manage their invites, track attendance, and receive feedback without the need for any manual processes and all those emails going on in the background. The result was an incredible 4,500 invitations sent to 2,300 attendees for all kinds of events, from exclusive dinners to drink receptions and parties to roundtable discussions. Based on the incredible feedback we've received, we'll be rolling out the networking and social activities program to be even bigger and better at next year's grocery shop. But if you haven't filled up your after hours schedule quite yet this week, a quick plug for a couple of the opportunities that are still open to you. Tonight, we'll be hosting our grocery quest party in our two exhibit halls, followed by our meet and greet barbecue for retailers and brands. Tomorrow night is, of course, our world famous grocery fest party down on the beach with live music from Ashanti to take us into the wee hours. If you've got any questions about any of our after hours events or anything else that's going on at Grocery Shop, you can head to our info desk just next to the entrance to the show or grab any of our Grocery Shop associates who'll be happy to help. You'll be able to spot them very easily in their very fetching aprons and visors. One more change that we've made to the show this year is to take steps to reduce our environmental impact and decrease the amount of throwaway material that we're using to build the show. You'll see that we aren't using disposable event carpet in the gangways of our exhibi exhibition halls this year, and our agenda and show map are in digital form in our app rather than in a disposable show guide. Most of our show features will be recycled after the show or put into storage to pop back up at future grocery shop events. All of these new show elements are part of our commitment to create the very best retail shows for you. The best editorial-led content featuring the best speakers, the best networking and entertainment, the most exciting show floor, the most progressive, dynamic and inclusive environment, and most importantly, the best ROI. I am so excited for the three days ahead of us. After a year here, there are now a lot of familiar faces in the audience, but I would love to meet many more of you and hear how we're doing, so please do stop me and say hello. In the meantime, we hope you have a wonderful week embracing all of the opportunities that Grocery Shop has to offer. Yeah. Thank Thanks. you.